Hey yo everyone, it's Mayo Spawn, and welcome to my review of Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Well, I don't like this game as much as I uh, used to, I still think it's one of the best art, not, not even just Mario RPGs, but RPGs. In general, I just really like it, and highly recommend you get it. Seeing it just three days ago got released. Uh, at least from when I'm uploading this, hopefully, re-released for the 3DS. I don't think there's just ever been a better time than now to get this game. Let's go over the plot. The plot actually starts out decently dark from what you expect from a Mario game. It doesn't go Super Paper Mario level dark, but... Definitely darker than what you would expect from a Mario game. As in, um, well, let's just say, um, there's a disease affecting toads called the Boards, which basically makes them Snorlax. Except ten times worse. Like they're literally just giant balls at this point. So the smartest people in the Mushroom Kingdom. And Mario and Luigi are there. Even by a star spirit named Starlo. To try and figure out how to cure the Blue Orbs. And then Bowser storms in. And I just love this moment. I'm sorry if I meant... Interrupting the plot synopsis, but I just love how everyone just like, oh no, Bowser, you weren't invited. Get out of here. And <laughs> Bowser says, and I quote, "What am I doing here? I live here, you royal genius." Yeah, I just love that line. But back to the plot synopsis. So after Mario defeats Bowser, and Luigi sleeps through it. Um, then Bowser is banished to the forest, where he meets this weird cloaked guy, who, um, you know, the weird cloaked guy who, uh, gives Bowser a lucky mushroom, And that kill he really hates it. Now he can eat anything. And it is revealed that this cloaked figure is one of the greatest Mario villains of all time. And literally all of my friends' favorite Mario villain. Though I have one day like more. And I'm pretty sure you all know who that is. It's on my username. But, um. Yeah, Fawful. That guy. The guy who has. The guy who, who literally has him as his mascot. That, that, that is a great villain. He is one of the best Mario villains. And one of the best villains in general. Though I probably shouldn't be going on a tank here about how great Baffle is. I'm going to And it's basically up. To, and then Bowser eats everyone in the main room that hasn't left. And it's up to Mario and Luigi and Bowser to stop Baffle from taking over everything, basically. 
with the power of the Dark Star Core and Dark Bowser aiding him. This is probably the greatest plot I've heard from Mario RPG. Yeah, well, outside of Super Paper Mario, but technically, that's just the platform with RPG elements. But that that's besides the point. So, um, yeah. Plot, pretty darn good. Gameplay, it's a Mario and Luigi game. Do I need to explain how good the gameplay is? So, okay, frankly, there are some more gameplay than you expect from Mario and Luigi. Sure, you have... The regular Mario and Luigi gameplay with jumping, hammer, and bros attacks. But now you have the Bowser gameplay, which is practically the same except with punching, f fire, and special attacks. Or, as I personally like to call them, minion attacks. As... Almost every single one of them has Bowser using one of his minions to attack an opponent. We'll be right back. Alright, sorry about the interruption, but there's one type A of type A of great English type of boss battle that I really like. That was in this game and its remake. The Giant Bowser. Boss battles. These. Okay, admittedly, they are kind of. How do I say this nicely? Annoying. <laughs> Just from holding the 3DS like that. I've never liked the game where you had to hold the 3DS like that. Uh, besides that, they're great. Presentation. I think it looks great. And while I would bring up the remake looking absolutely fantastic, this is more particularly a, a um, review of the original Bowser's Inside Story. Not um, the remake. That's going to be safe for another video. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Presentation. Looks great. One of the better looking 3DS games in my opinion. And it's an RPG. You already know what I'm going to comment about that you haven't already. And it's the characters. Mario and Luigi, they're all joyful selves. Toadsworth is still one of my favorite Mario characters. Bowser, great Fawful. I've already said my piece about him being an amazing villain. Midvis, Fawful's right hand man. Is also another really good Mario villain. Funny how they made two of the best Mario villains work together. Then you have the introduction of the trio. Kamek appears every once in a while, and that's pretty good. Peach, you don't like her, but Starlo, great character. All the characters are amazing. I can't think of any. The black guy, I can't remember his name. French Black, as I'm going to call him as I always do. So yeah, those are my thoughts and feelings on Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. Well, it's no longer one of my favorite games. And one of my favorite Mario RPGs. It's still a damn good game. Arguably the best in its franchise, particularly due to the remake. So yeah, this has been Demanio Spawn, and next time I will be making my review of New Super Mario Bros. U. See you guys then.